so our next question which of the following function were performed performed by the constitution assembly constitution and constituent assembly of india so kon kon function jo perform karte hai constitution assembly mein india ka constitution assembly mein jahan par drafting of the constitution of india ek isko public perform kiya jata hai drafting of the constitution of india and second is adoption of the adopting national song of india its uh, isko bhi humne uh, yahan par uh, isko bhi function hai to jisko pub uh, constitution assembly mein perform kiya jata hai and enacted of ordinary law an ordinary law ko bhi enact kiya jata hai to both are correct all are correct drafting of the constitution of india adoption of the national song of song of india and enact enactment of ordinary law so all are correct so in addition to the making of the constitution of constitution and enacting the ordinary law constitution assembly also performed the following function it ratifies the indian membership and of the commonwealth the commonwealth in may 1949 it adopted the national flag in on july 22 1947 national anthem on january 24 1950 He adopted national song of, uh, on January 24, 1950. National song and uh, national anthem anthem is uh, same day. And <coughs> Dr. Rajendra was the first president. It is in 19, January 24, 1950. But national flag adopted July 22, 1947. next question which of the following statements regarding national commission of on of scheduled tribes are correct statements are correct like the national commission of scheduled tribes so it was act it was created through 89 amendment act of 2003 it was created 89 Amendment Act of 2003, so National Commission of Civil Tribes, and second, it is come under Ministry of Social and Poor Justice and Empowerment. Not correct. So <coughs> National Commission and Civil Tribes is not come under so the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. So and second, third is the it has with the empire it has the part of the civil court in investing matters related to in violation of rights of S C L S T. Okay. One and three are correct. Yeah, but B is the correct explanation. Okay, in uh, statement one, the correct key here is that in order to safeguard the right of the interest of the ST more effectively, it was pro- 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 proposed to set up a separate com- national commission of ST ST uh, by bifurcating bifurcating the existing combined national uh, national commission for ST ST and ST. This was done by passing the It is an constitutional amendment act of 2003. The act further amended Article 338. The act further uh, enacted amended uh, Article 338 and inserted a new Article 338 of the in the constitution. The separate national commission for ST came into existence in 2004. The statement two is not correct. It comes under National Commission of. Uh, it is comes under Ministry of Tribal Affairs, not Ministry of Women and Child. So it is it's, uh, wrong. So your yeah, answer is uh, Tribal Answer. Tribal Ministry of Tribal Affairs. And third is the correct. Do the Commission while in investigating any matters of inquiring into the com- any complaint has all the powers of the Civil Court trying to sue it, trying to sue it. Next. the chief the chief commissioner commissioner is appointed on the recommended recommendation of the committee pro- consisting of chief in for cic chief in for commission appointed on the recommendation of prime minister it's correct and leader of the opposition of the lok sabha it's uh, ha chief leader of the opposition of the lok sabha it's correct leader of leaders of the opposition of the rajya sabha it's not correct Indian cabinet minister nominated by prime minister it's correct and uh, outgoing chief information officer not correct so your option is answer is 1 2 and 
This is the correct answer. So we will explain in the game. So the Chief Information Commission consists of the Chief Information Commissioner and not more than 10 Information Commissioners. And they are appointed by the President on the recommendation of the, recommendation of, the of a committee consisting of the Prime Minister and the Chairman as the Chairperson and the leader of the leader of the opposition of the Lok Sabha and the Union Minister appointed by the Prime Minister. Union Cabinet Minister nominated by the Prime Minister. Okay. So next question. So answer the following. So answer the following. Which of the following which of the above special circumstances has an effect on the fundamental rights of the Indian citizen? Special rule, national emergency, martial law. Which of the following following circumstances has had an effect on the fundamental rights? Of the Indian citizens. So yeah, for national emergency and martial law, it's correct. National emergency and martial law. Special circumstances. Okay. So yeah, for the national emergency and martial law is the correct, not president rule is the correct. It is the special circumstances of an effect, have an effect. Of, of the, on the fundamental rights of the Indian citizens. The Central Commission. Okay. So last question. So President rules has not been obtained. See, President rule has no effect on the fundamental rights. Whereas national emergency and martial rule have uh, when a national emergency is declared, the fundamental rights was under uh, Article uh, 19 or automatically suspended. And suspension continues till the end of the emergency. So, thank you.